and welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Now I'm going to stay in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I today for On This Day in Tudor History, the 3rd of September, 1592. Writer and playwright Robert Greene died in London. He died from a fever and it was said that he was buried in a churchyard near Bedlam. Now, Green was a prolific writer, writing autobiographical works, plays and romances. But he's actually best known for a pamphlet. Now, this pamphlet is called Green's Groat's Worth of Wit, Bought with a Million of Repentance. I do love that title. And this apparently was written on his deathbed. That's what was said about this pamphlet, that Green wrote it on his deathbed. Now, what's important about this pamphlet is it's actually the first known contemporary reference to William Shakespeare as a playwright. Now, the Folger Shakespeare Library um, has got a website called Shakespeare Documented, and it describes uh, this work, this pamphlet, as a tale of two brothers, Roberto and Luciano. And it goes on to explain that in the tale, Roberto tries to steal his brother's wealth, but fails and is forced to make a living from being a playwright, while his brother ends up spending his money on women and working as a pimp. Now, at first, Roberto is very successful at playwriting and he earns a lot of money, but he squanders what he earns and he ends up on his deathbed with just a single groat, hence the title. At the end of this story, this tale of the two brothers, the reader learns that it's actually autobiographical and that Roberto is Robert Greene, who then uses the work to repent of his sinful life and also to give a warning to others. And actually a warning to three specific people, unnamed playwrights, who, as noted by the Folger website, bear strong resemblances to Thomas Nash, Christopher Marlowe and George Peel, who were other well-known 16th century playwrights. Robert Greene warns them to beware of other actors who are also playwrights, including one he describes as an upstart crow, beautified with air feathers, that with his tiger's heart wrapped in a player's hide, supposes he is well able to bombast out a blank verse as the best of you, and being an absolute Johannes factotum, is in his own conceit the only shake scene in a country. Oh, that I might entreat your rare wits to be employed in more profitable courses and let those apes imitate your past excellence and never more acquaint them with your admired inventions. Now, this appears to be an attack on the uneducated upstart Shakespeare. And the Folger website points out that Tiger's Heart Wrapped in a Player's Hide is actually a play on a line from Shakespeare's work, Henry VI, Part Three, where Shakespeare wrote... O tiger's heart wrapped in a woman's hide, and that Johannes Fack Totem or Johnny Dual is actually the same phrase as Jack of all trades and is a dig at Shakespeare's arrogance and his pride, and is also perhaps even accusing him of plagiarism. Now, this attack by Robert Greene is all to do with the lowly Shakespeare's mastery of blank verse, which he mentions in that warning. Uh, something that the um, university educated Nash, Marlowe and Peel all used as well. And it's just terrible that this upstart crow is mastering uh, blank verse when these university educated men are, are good at it. Now, although the pamphlet was printed in 1592 as being written by Robert Greene, in fact, it says on its title page, written before his death and published at his dying request, there is now controversy over the authorship, with scholars believing that it was actually written by either uh, Henry Chettle or Thomas Nash, 
fellow authors and dramatists. Now I'll give you a link to read the pamphlet yourself because it is a very interesting read, this tale of the brothers. And I'll also give you a link to the uh, Shakespeare Library article on it so that you can uh, read more about the thoughts behind it. Now, of course, the BBC sitcom Upstart Crow, which was written by Ben Elton and which is about William Shakespeare, took its title from Green's work and his dig at Shakespeare. So that's uh, just an interesting bit of trivia for you there. So that's what happened on this day in Tudor history. And we have, you know, that link between uh, Robert Green's work whether or not it's actually written by him, it is linked to him, and uh, William Shakespeare, the bard himself. Thank you for joining me today. I will, of course, be back tomorrow with another Tudor history event for you. In the meantime, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking round about there. It does help uh, having subscribers. Uh, YouTube is more likely to sort of share uh, my videos around if, uh, if I've got plenty of subscribers. You can like the video as well. And of course, you can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live. But rest assured, I'm here on a daily basis. See you soon. Bye-bye.